So, another one of our customers has asked us to create a video to explain how to find your position if you have just VOR receivers and no GPS. We are going to explain that and also bring it a little bit further. All you need to do this is a VFR chart and one or two VOR receivers. Two receivers being the better scenario for accuracy as the airplane keeps moving while we find our position. First, we identify a couple of VOR stations on the chart and input their frequencies on the airplane's VOR receivers. After making sure we have identified their signal, we will center them one at a time. Let's start from Denville VOR. It doesn't really matter whether you center the VOR with a to or a from, for the time being. As we can see by the animation, the needle centers with a 271 bearing to the station which means a heading of 271 will bring us to Denville VOR. So, if we need to fly to the station, we need to go west. This obviously means we are east of the station, and to be precise, we are on the 091 radial from the station, as shown by the number on the bottom of the instrument. The top of the instrument shows to the station, the bottom of the instrument shows from the station, because the flag points to the top with a 2 indication. Next, let's draw a line on the chart from the center of the VOR station to intercept the 091 degree radial and extend it as far as we can. Now, for the second VOR, we will be doing the same procedure and after centering it, we can see that a heading of 306 will bring us to the station. So, our radial from the station, again, is read from the bottom of the VOR instrument and is, as shown, 126. Again, we draw a line from the center of the VOR to the 126 degree radial and extend it as far as we can. Finally, our airplane is located wherever the two lines meet, in this case, just about over the Frankfurt airport. By the way, if you need a fast way to find a reciprocal of a heading, you can either set the heading on the VOR instrument and then read the number at the bottom of the instrument, or if you're on the ground, you can use the method I call plus two, minus two. Meaning, if we have a heading and need to find its reciprocal, we will either add two to the first number and subtract two from the second number, or subtract two from the first number and add two to the second. Let's explain it a little bit. Let's say, for example, your heading is one, two, six, and you need to find its reciprocal. In this case, we will add a 2 to the first number, as we cannot subtract a 2, or the angle found would be negative, and this will change the first number to a 3. Because we added a 2 to the first number, we will now subtract a 2 from the second number, and this will change that number to 0. The third number always stays the same. The final number found is 306, which is the reciprocal of 126. All you really did is add or subtract 180 from the original heading, but you did it by adding 200 and then subtracting 20, or even easier, as we did, we added 2 and then subtracted 2. Now let's say that we need to use that VOR to navigate to an airport and possibly even align us with the runway. Let's take a look at the next slide for that. Now let's say you actually wanted to fly to the Delphi airport and possibly align yourself with the runway while inbound. Flying to an airport is obviously always a possibility using a VOR. In this case, we can also align ourselves with the runway because as we can see from the chart, the Delphi runway is nearly aligned with a 360 radial of boiler VOR. So, let's first intercept the 360 bearing to the boiler VOR. First, we twist the OBS to 360 because that is the heading we will fly to align ourselves with runway 36 of Delphi Airport. As we can see, the needle swings towards the west, telling us that the 360 bearing is west of us. To intercept it quickly, let's fly a 90 degree angle of intercept, which is 270, 
because that is the angle 90 degrees on the side of the VOR where the needle is found, as you can see from the image. So let's turn to 270 by first setting the heading indicator bug on 270. And then let's actually turn to 270. Once the needle starts to center, we will turn back to 360 and wait for the flag to flip, indicating we passed the VOR. At this point, it's just a matter of time before we're able to see the Delphi Airport. And again, because the runway is nearly aligned with the radio we selected, we are also on final for runway 36. At Pilot Training Solutions, we strive to take the hardest concepts aviation has to offer and break them down into easy solutions. If you're having trouble passing any of the FAA tests, take a look at our virtual ground school software at PassFAExams.com. Whether you need help with the private knowledge test, the instrument knowledge test, or the commercial knowledge test, we are here for you and can guarantee your troubles and fears will be long gone after just a couple of chapters. If you are a mobile learner, we now also offer the iPad and Android versions of our ground schools. We at Pilot Training Solutions hope you enjoyed our latest video. And keep in mind that whether or not you are a customer of ours, if you have any aviation related questions, you're more than welcome to either post a comment or email us at pts at pilottrainingsolutions.com with your questions. And we will be glad to answer them in the easiest possible way for you to understand. Until the next video, we at Pilot Training Solutions wish you all clear horizons and happy flying.